I didn't know this was a thing. And my original thought was, surely this is already federally illegal, much less in your state, to own it or distribute it. And then you find out, not in most states, my state just recently made the news because of this. I'm so scared to put it in my search engine, but I did. And um, apparently there is research on the subject. Not much, not much. But uh, there are what they call maps, minor attracted persons. And the limited amount of research that's done on these dolls, guys, suggests that they actually, for people who are attracted to minors, that these dolls actually decrease their proclivity to go out and attack children, that it actually gives them a release that makes them less likely to go outside of their home. And, and what was interesting is the research did not support the same conclusions for people who were adult attracted using dolls that did not diminish their proclivity to. We don't do politics here. I try to be very inclusive here. I'll call you whatever you want to be called. Maps, that's where I draw the line. Full stop, they're pedophiles. I'm sure it's tough being a representative because you can't be an expert in all things. But then she said this, like her free speech is being stifled. You just got clapped back and she's a physician. But me putting the pause on my emotions for a second. If you don't know, you don't know. But you go to people that do know. Not Google it on the night before sitting on the toilet. Research. This argument was also used in CSAM material. If pedophiles have that, it makes them less likely to offend, right? No, you're reinforcing the bad behavior. And sexuality in humans evolves. What satisfies you one day might not satisfy you a year from now. If you got an image, eventually you're going to want a doll. And then eventually you're going to want a kid, which was the point in the first place. Just looking at the dolls that are out there, this is a very tame image, but I want the awareness out there. You can Google it for yourself. As a crimes against children detective, I talk to experts a lot on this topic because I want to know how they think so I can dismantle them and put them in a cage forever. I'm not an expert on the topic, but I'm going to tag an expert in the caption. Looking at the media, a lot of the focus is on the dolls and that's kind of important. But the really important part of this bill is the AI generated CSAM. Another, this is not already illegal? That's what should be getting the most focus. AI generated CSAM is already a huge problem. Please check to see if these things are already illegal in your state. They're probably not. Like I said, I don't do politics, but this is something I'll make some noise about. Shameless plug. I did crimes against children for seven years. Burnout is one to two. I have several closets full of PTS. So now I don't sleep so good. I started using CBD gummies by Cheech and Chong, of all people, and now I don't have problems falling asleep. You can go here and then here if you want to give them a try. Be aware and be safe.